and welcome to Viewpoint on Ukraine Today. An international multimedia project is launching in Kiev this week. It's called Paramorsi, which means winners in Ukrainian and carries the name of the Help the Heroes in English. The goal is to help reintegrate wounded soldiers back into everyday life. Joining us in the studio is Irina Pilipenko. She's the head of an NGO called Save Lives Together Foundation, which is spearheading this initiative. Welcome to Viewpoint. Thank you. So what is the main goal of your uh, of this initiative, basically? So this project aims to address physical, psychological, as well as social barriers faced by Ukrainian amputees. We want to not only help Ukrainian amputees to get jobs, access buildings, but also to change the public perception of them so they so they are not pitied. Also, for example, Wounded Warrior Project in America is a non-profit foundation that is dedicated not only to provide rehabilitation and psychological services to wounded soldiers, but also creates large social programs which helps them to integrate into the normal way of life. And this is what the uh, initiative here in Ukraine that you're uh, yeah. helping spearhead is basically all about. It's, we, it's very similar, isn't it? We really want to provide the same level of care here in Ukraine. So we can avoid a race of homelessness and lack of faith as it's seen uh, emerging when veterans return from the Afghan war. But I, I suppose it's, it's difficult. You've been, you've been doing this for over two years. You've been coming to Ukraine from the, from the States and you haven't seen your family much, have you? No, not at all. I mean, it's, it's hard, but I really like the thing I'm doing. Is this, is this something that you never thought that you would end up doing, helping to uh, reintegrate um, no. wounded, wounded soldiers? No, never. How prevalent is the, is the issue of prosthetics in Ukraine? Specifically, uh, Ukrainian amputees who returned from the battlefield faced not only psychological barriers, but also everyday difficulties such as accessing buildings, finding jobs. And the worst is the public stigma, which attaches shame, pity, and misfortune onto their disabilities. How is your organization helping to shape the prosthetic market in, in Ukraine? So first of all, we are fundraising for this cause through our nonprofit Save Lives Together Foundation. Our donors are very much interested in giving for this specific issue. The subject of injured soldiers, it is something that our donors brought up to us when they began to voice a real concern that Ukraine is not accessible to its disabled residents. Also, we're working with trainers who have the expertise in the prosthetics uh, field. Because of their extensive knowledge and experience, they can advise us about things such as rehabilitation method, moral adjustment, and any other area of concern when it comes to living as an amputee. Well, thank you so much for coming into our studio today to talk a little bit about your initiative. Um, thanks. Thank you. This has been Irina Pilipenko. She's the head of an NGO called Save Lives Together Foundation, which is spearheading an initiative to help rehabilitate wounded Ukrainian soldiers. You've been watching Viewpoint on Ukraine Today.